Hello students, today we are going to uh, discuss about sequence detector. So what is a sequence detector? Sequence detector is a sequential state machine that is also a finite state machine that takes an input string of bits and generates an output one whenever that sequence of bits has been detected. Today we are going to discuss the sequence detector in Millet machine. And what is a Millet machine? The output depends on the present input along with the present state from the flip flops. Hence, in the diagram, the output is returned outside the states. See here? You have a sequence detector. You are going to give the inputs to the sequence detector. There is a shift register which is going to give the set of bits. Among the bit string, you are going to detect the sequence, which sequence of bits is required. So, input bit is given to the sequence detector and in the sequence detector, you have a combinational logic circuit and uh, along with the state, along with the flip flops uh, and uh, since it is a synchronous sequential circuit, everything will be synchronized with respect to the clock. So, you are giving your shift register uh, also connected to clock and also the sequence detector is also connected to clock. So, both the input and the output, both the, uh, both the uh, shift register as well as the sequence detector, you are going to give the clock. So, you are going to give the input uh, uh, input string of bits uh, from which you are going to detect the given sequence of bits and if the given sequence is detected, the output Z will be equal to 1, okay. Hence, uh, the diagram, you know, the Millet machine is, uh, uh, the Millet machine output is uh, from the output uh, of the combination logic circuit, am I right? Huh? So, that is why we have connected outside. Otherwise, uh, if it is a Murray machine, we will be taking the output uh, within the state itself, within the state itself, that you know. So, sequence detector is of two types generally, one is overlapping type and uh, non-overlapping type, that will I will discuss, you, discuss with you in the upcoming slides. So, in the overlapping uh, sequence detector, the last bit of one sequence becomes the first uh, bit of the se next sequence. However, in a uh, non-overlapping sequence, uh, the last bit of one sequence does not become the first bit of the next sequence, okay. And how many bits of uh, we are going to detect? For example, if I need to detect three bits, okay, so the number of states of the flip-flop or number of flip-flops that is required to design the circuit will be three, okay, keep that in mind. So, the number of bits to be detected is the number of states, okay, is the number of states. So, today we are going to see the sequence detector and that too the sequence detector for a, in a, we are going to design the sequence detector in a Millet machine. It is a Millet machine sequence detector and uh, we uh, will see uh, overlapping and non-overlapping sequence detector first and then we will go ahead with the design, okay. Okay guys, so let us see uh, the example of the sequence detector. So, when a particular sequence is detected. Okay guys, let us see the example of the sequence detector. When a particular sequence namely 101 is detected. So, x is nothing but 101 which is nothing but the input for the sequence detector. And uh, your corresponding output when this particular sequence is detected, your output will be 1 y is the output. So, how many number of bits we are going to read the in the sequence? 3 number of bits 1 0 1. So, number of states is 3 now. Since the bits is 3, we have 3 states S0, S1 and S2. The first state is the reset state which is nothing but the entry state as soon as you are switching on the machine that is said to be the reset state that is your S0 and the next two subsequent states are said to be S1 and S3. For example, let me have the input first sequence 1, okay, first sequence 1. So, when the first sequence first bit is detected, it will move to the next state S1, it will move to the next state S1. So, here 1 and 0 represents 1 slash 0 between S1 and S2 between S1 and S2 represents your 
input as well as the output. Input as well as the output. Keep in mind only when the sequence 101 as stretch is detected one after the other your output will be one finally only after the sequence 101 is detected. Assume that the first incoming bit the first incoming bit is uh, one and then so you won't have the output y as zero because you have detected only one the first bit. So, from S0 to S1 you will be moving because you have received the first bit and the second bit is 0, the second bit is 0. So, from the state in second bit is 0, the output is also 0, the second bit output, uh, second bit is 0, output is also 0, y is also 0. So, from S1 you will move to S3 state and when you are in S3 state, when you are receiving the first bit, what it will, uh, it will uh, analyze, uh, it has already received 1, it has already received uh, 0, now it has received this 1, okay, now it has received this 1, so the sequence 101 is detected, so make your output 1, make your output y is equal to 1 and then return to the reset state itself, return to the reset state itself, remember this, return to the reset state itself, entry state itself, this is said to be non-overlapping sequence detector, non-overlapping sequence detector. An example of a non-overlapping sequence detector, I will discuss, okay. So, see here what is said to be a non-overlapping sequence detector. So, non-overlapping sequence detector, so assume that this is a given sequence, okay, assume that this is a given sequence 0, 1, 0, 1. So, the, you need to, I mean, given input string, you need to detect the sequence 101, okay. You need to detect the sequence 101. So, this is your input string you need to detect. Already you know since this is uh, 3 number of bits you need to detect. So, we have 3 states uh, S0, S1 and uh, uh, S2, S0, S1 and S2. So, S0, S1 and S2 and this is your reset state or the entry state. And when you are receiving the first bit to be 1, so first bit if you are receiving 1 input, your output will be 0 and you will move to 1, state S1. And if you are receiving your input to be 0, output will be 0 and you will move to the next state S2. And if you are receiving 1, your output finally will be 1 because you have detected the sequence 1, 0, 1. This is what I have discussed in the previous slide too. So, you have to come back to S0, reset state itself. Okay. So, look here. Now, we will go ahead with the example. Now, you have 0 first. Okay. Now, you have 0 first. Keep in mind, when you, when you have input to be 1, you will move to the next state. As soon as if you switch on the machine, you will be in state S0. When you are in switch S0, when you are receiving 0, when you are receiving 0, you are not going to move to the next state S1. You will remain in the same state S0 itself and you will make your output 0. And what is your next bit? Next bit is 1. So, you are receiving 1. So, when you are receiving 1, you will automatically move to the next state S1. Okay. You automatically you will move to the next state S1. And your output, corresponding output y will be 0. This is your x and this is your y. Okay. This is your y. And the next bit. Okay. The next bit, according to the sequence, when you are in S1, only if you receive 0, you will go to S2. But what is the next bit you are receiving? You are receiving 1. So, when you are receiving this 1, when are you in, when you are in state S1, you will stay here itself and that is your input 1, your output is also 0. And go to your next state, what is your next bit? 0. So, when you are in state S1, when you are receiving 0, so 0, you will go ahead with the next state S2. So, now you come to S2. Okay. So, for this, First entry state, you will be in state S0, okay. Then for 1, you will be in S1 and 1 again, you will be in S1, 
okay i am writing this as 1 2 itself this is state okay s1 and when you are in zero now you are in state 2 now you are in state 2 after receiving zero you came to state 2 what is the next bit that is 1 am i right when you are in state s2 when you are receiving 1 you need to go to state s0 with output to be making your output to be 1 making your output to be 1 so now you go to state s0 making your output 1 making your output 1 okay so your output y okay y will be see here this is representing your state this is representing your state this is representing your output only when you receive this 1, you made this 0. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, you have received it. 1, you made output 1 and you came back to state S0. You came back to state S0. And come here again, when you are in state S1, what is the next bit that you are receiving? The next bit you are receiving is 0. When you receive 0, when you receive 0, you will be in the same state itself, that is 0. And you will make your output to be 0, make your output as 0. And then come again, when you are in state S0, you are receiving the next bit 1. You are receiving the next bit 1. When you are receiving the next bit 1, you move from S0 to S1, making your output to be 0. Okay, so next bit is 1, state S1. And your output is 0. Your output is 0. Now you are in S1. You are receiving 0. You are receiving 0. When you receive 0, you move to S2 state. When you receive 0, you move to S2 state. Okay. And then, what is your output? Your output is 0 again. So make your output 0. Okay. And then, when you are... In S2 state, now you are in S2 state, you are receiving 1, you are receiving 1. When you receive this 1, when you are in S1, you need to make your output 1 and you need to switch over to S0. Your output is 1, you go to S0. Is it okay? This is how you will proceed. This is how you will proceed. Guys, I made this as a table itself. This is the bit sequence that we are receiving. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So, when x is the input, when x is the input, okay, when x is the input sequence, first bit sequence x, okay. So, till this one we have detected, I repeat once, when you are receiving 0, so initially you will be in a reset state. Initially, we will be receive, uh, you will be in reset state S0. When you receive 0, you won't go to the next state. You remain in the same state. When you will go to the next state, only if you receive 1, you will go to the next state, okay. So, when you are in 0, you are, uh, when you are receiving 0, your input is 0, output is 0. So, input is 0, output is 0 you will remain in the same state S0 and then when you are receiving 1 when you are receiving 1 so you will move from S0 to S1 ok and so that is why when you are receiving 1 you move to S1 and till now your output is 0 only your output is 0 only keep in mind only if you detect 101 as a whole your output finally when you detect the last one you will your output will be 1 ok so now you are in state S1 so, when you receive the next bit, that is 1 again. So, when you receive 1, it won't go to the next state. When you will go to the next state, 1. If you receive 0, you will go to the next state. So, when you receive this 1, you will remain in the same state. Otherwise, you will go to the next state. Now, you are receiving 1. You will be in the same state S1. Your output is 0. So, you are in the same state S1 and output is 0. And when you receive 0 again, and you receive 0. Now, you are in state S1. You receive 0. You move to the next state S2. Move to the next state S2. Uh, state S2 and your output is 0. And next, when you are in state S1, when you receive 1, your output will be 1 and you will move to the reset state S0. So, you, you are with the state S2. You receive 1. You move to S0 and making your output 1. Okay. You go to the reset state itself.
and then what is the next bit zero again so when you are receive zero you uh, you are in the same state itself you are not moving to the next state because your sequence is 101 you need to remember the sequence okay you need to remember the sequence so 101 uh, sequence you need to remember so you receiving zero you will be in the same state itself that is s not again when you are in s not when you receive zero when you receive zero i said you will be in yes one sorry see when you are in s not when when you are in s not when you receive one when you receive one you go to the next state s yes, one so in next state s yes, one you receive one you go to the next state s yes, one you make your output zero okay and then now you are in now s one what is your next bit zero so when you are in zero when you are uh, sorry when you are in s two when your input is zero you move to the next state s two make your output to be 0 and now now you are in state s2 when you receive 1 when you receive 1 you, are, you make your output 1 and move to s0 you make your output 1 and move to s0 and what is the next bit now you are in s0 you receive 0 you receive 0 and if you receive 0 make your output 0 and your state will be s0 itself you remain in state s0 and again you receive 0 only and again you are in uh, you receive 0 only so you won't move to next state you are again in the same state your output is 0 and again the next bit is also 0 so make your output is 0 and you are in the same state s0 this is your overlapping sequence non overlapping sequence i'm sorry this is your non overlapping sequence non overlapping sequence detector is nothing but after deducting your 101 after deducting to your 101 you will rem you will go to the reset state again you will go to the reset state again this is your non overlapping sequence detector keep in mind this is your output for your non overlapping sequence detector with the same input bit, bit uh, sequence we will see how when overlapping detector works okay and then we will go for the design implementation and all again guys when you have a overlapping sequence when you are dealing with an overlapping sequence again the bit uh, uh, how many bits you are going to detect uh, how many bit of uh, in the sequence you are going to detect three bits so three states s0 s1 s2 i will do this here s0 s1 and s2 are the three states uh, which we are going to see so this is the first state uh, that we are going to uh, look into so that is your reset state when you switch on the machine you, you will automatically enter into the reset state and when you are in this state automatically when you are switching it on so when you receive this one when you receive this bit one so your output will be zero and will and will go to the state s1 and when you receive zero okay the after one your next bit is zero your output is zero and you go to state s2 and here when you go ahead with 1 okay the next bit is 1 when you go ahead with bit 1 okay bit 1 so when you are receiving bit 1 when you are in state s2 when you are receiving bit 1 you make your output 1 you don't go to the reset state you go to s1 that is the difference between your overlapping and the non overlapping so you will go to s1 you are not going back to reset state again you are not going back to reset state again so if this is the state diagram what happens when this bit, bit sequence is coming as the input in case of overlapping and what is the difference between the overlapping and the uh, non overlapping with the same bit sequence that we will see here so now the, this is the bit sequence that we are going to receive what is the first uh, bit that we are going to receive the first bit uh, that we are receiving is zero so one when we are in reset state when we receive zero you will be in the same state only you won't go anywhere and you make your output zero okay you make your output zero and then what this is uh, uh, you are you are in same state and make your output zero and the next bit is one so the next bit you are receiving it is 1 and you go to s1 from s0 so go to s1 to s0 make your output 0 and when you are in state s1 you receive 1 you receive 1 and uh, now we are in state s1 we receive bit 1 so when we receive 1 
we won't go to the next state. Only when we receive 0, we, we will go to the next state. So, when we receive 1, you will be in the same state by making your output 0, S1, make your output 0. And then, now we are in state S1, you receive 0, you move to the next state, making your output 0. So, S2, your output is 0. And when you are in S2, you receive 1. So, you go to S1 only, you go to S1, as I said earlier, making your output 0, sorry, making your output 1. So, go to state S1, make your output 1. And when you are in S1, when you receive 0, when you receive 0, you move to S2, you move to S2, making your output 0. When you are in S2, you receive 1 and your output will be 1. And you move to state S1. Okay. And then when you receive 0 in S1, you go to state S2, make your output 0. When you receive 1, when you are in state S2, your output is 1. And you move to state S1. S1, output is 1. Now you are in state S1. When you receive 0, you move to state S2, your output is 0. Now you are in state S2. You receive 0. Only if you receive 1, you move to S2. When you receive 0, you will be in the same state, making your output 0. S2, your output is 0. Now, you are in state S2 only. You receive 0 and you are in the same state S2 only, making your output 0. Okay. So, here you have 3 1s in the output. You have 3 1s in the output. Look here. You have two ones in the output. Two ones in the output. We are detecting the same sequence. Okay. Uh, one, zero, zero. Zero, one. We are not overlapping. We are moving here to S0 from S2. But here, from S2, we are moving to S1. Meaning, If this is the bit sequence here, after detecting the sequence, after detecting the sequence, your output is 1. I am not going to start with the reset state. I am not going to start with 0, 1, 0. That is why earlier this bit is 0. But here I am going to overlap. It will be like this. See, earlier it was like this. 1, 0, 1. The previous direction, so it was 1. I am not going to start fresh again here. Instead, I am considering the previous bit also. That is why I am moving to state S1. So, 101. So, making this bit to be 1. And again, this 101 making this bit to be 1. Okay. But, but here, but here, after 101 is detected, I am starting fresh again. That is why this bit is 0. Okay. This bit is 0. Otherwise, this bit would have been 1. Okay. So, with this 101 in state in state S1, after that from S0 we are starting. 101, you have 1 over here. Okay. This is non-overlapping sequence. So, non-overlapping sequence, sometimes you may detect the intermittent bit sequence. This 101 is missed. This 101 is missed in the non-overlapping sequence. Okay. Huh? But whereas here, we have detected that 101. Okay. This is the difference between an overlapping and a non-overlapping uh, uh, sequence uh, detector for uh, the sequence 101. And uh, uh, we are going to discuss about uh, only uh, today in the uh, class the Millet machine uh, uh, model of your sequence detector. What is your Millet machine model? Your input along with the previous state outputs will determine your output. That is your Millet state machine. That we will continue in the next class. Thank you.